Now, I know y'all wondering where I've been and why I haven't been uploading super consistently. Hey, wait a minute. I have been uploading super consistently, haven't I? I actually did a whole lot of stuff, man. I know y'all thinking, Jay, 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 what's going on, man? We need the two videos a day. Listen, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Look, I started another channel. A lot of y'all already subscribed. A lot of y'all people already know about it. It's the Easy Does It channel where we just doing sports news and stuff like that. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I am actually having a lot of fun over there because it's not a whole lot of BS. It's just straight facts, straight sports talk. And if you like that type of stuff, man, you like you getting constant updates. And for some reason, YouTube is actually pushing out all of those videos, unlike on this channel, which means to me that what I'm telling y'all is absolutely true. When I come in and I say, if y'all like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and let's get right into it. Emphasis on like the video. If you do not like the video, we will not grow. It's just that simple. The way that YouTube works is this. They put the content, when you don't have a certain number of subs, when, you when you're under a certain number of subs, they put the content out to everybody until you know you get a core base. And then once you get a core base, they run it past your core base first. And then once they run it past your core base, uh, if, if your core base is rocking with it, they like it, they're commenting, they're doing everything, then it'll go out to everybody else. But if y'all don't do that, it's never going to get anywhere. So please, if y'all don't do nothing else, man, like the video and comment uh, easy down below. And that's gonna do two things for y'all. Number one, Every single Friday, we're going to give away $50 in VC Cash App or a copy of a video game. We're going to be doing that tomorrow. I didn't stream today. Very busy. My uh, my nephew had a basketball game, had to get out there. Number two, this is the more important one. We can average 8K views, and we are getting very close to that. We're going to give away a next-gen console, whether it be an Xbox, PlayStation, 500 bucks, or it's going to be a laptop. I'm talking about an HP Omen or whatever, man. Last but not least, the bots are down there trying to tell y'all that we got, you know, stuff going on. I'm not putting my phone number down there, and I'm not putting... Um, I'm not on uh, Telegram. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Black Planet, and the Tiki Taki. And if you like sports talk and uh, you know I like sports videos and stuff like that, go over there, man. Check that channel out. We having a lot of fun. And with all that out of the way, good afternoon, out there in 2K land, man. Listen, bro, I ain't come here to talk y'all ear off about this stuff, man, because it's just y'all have to understand how important it is for y'all to like the video. And I think that y'all don't get it uh, because let me let me tell y'all something. I, and then we're going to get on with the show. Most of the people that are subbed to me are probably like, I only got about 40,000 2K guys, right? So half of the people that are watching over half, about 60,000 of y'all, they hit for Call of Duty. We don't do Call of Duty anymore. So it's like half of them that see the video, they ain't even going to watch the video or like it. So YouTube interprets that as, well, dang, half your audience is not even rocking with the video. Why would anybody else rock with the video? So if y'all don't do y'all's job and hit it, we probably, bro, as close as we are, we probably never gonna hit that 100K. I'm never gonna stop doing 2K content, but I'm telling y'all straight up, bro, I'm getting older and older and older, and it's just like, look, bro, people is not rocking with, with old heads on 2K. It just simply is what it is. But check out Easy Does It, and look at how many people rocking with me over there. They doing their job over there. It's insane. But anyway, let's just get right into this, man. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off about that. That boy Christopher London says, um... Would you fight Steven Adams if he would you would, what would you do if Steven Adams try to fight you? And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I'm getting up out of there. That dude is seven foot tall and he knows ju ju jujitsu or something like that. I'm not fighting him. That dude is, is what we call from out from where I'm from, and I, I know y'all understand what I'm saying. He's what we refer to as Trey Eight B. And you can just take that any way you want to. You Trey Eight B. I am too. So I know that I get it. Ain't nobody, bro. Them dudes not already tell, bro. We're not fighting you. You're, it ain't you. We're not fighting you, and it ain't no fair ones. And and that's just is how it goes. You trade eight big, and if you know how, if you know what that is, if you know, you know, man. It is what it is. So that's that's what it is. Stephen Adams is not getting fought in not, not nowhere that I know of. Nobody's fighting him, but I'm gonna get up out of that too. And I would have acted just like Unk acted last night, acted like he didn't exist. I wasn't talking to you. That's how we used to do people back in the day. Anyway, man, up next, we got a hey, 2K says, who hit level 40? And uh, you know, uh, that boy Nate, he just came out and said, nobody cares about level 40 anymore in this dry game, bro. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I mean, that's really where it is. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm gonna keep doing 2K videos all year and I'm gonna keep bringing it up. I'm gonna keep being upbeat and I'm gonna keep bringing the love. And if nobody told you this today, I, you my brother or my sister and I love you. I'm gonna keep doing this all year long, no matter how bad it gets, no matter how dry it gets, because I know that momentum can carry you into the next 2K and it's oh so precious, especially 
when you know when you got a channel like me where where you just have to do it so i'm gonna keep doing what i gotta do man but but it just really feels like a lot of times um yeah the game is kind of getting dry and they made the changes and i really don't like how it is with these changes even though these changes made me better it feels like i'm better artificially kind of and so i don't like that i don't I, all the sense of accomplishment and stuff it's just gone it's just don't feel i go in there and dunk on somebody or some i make somebody smoke a dunk it's like they smoking dunks anyway if you just walk by dude walk by you walk by dude and touch his shoestring he's smoking the dunk now bro like it just doesn't feel good defense don't feel rewarding at the same time i'm in his face hall of fame challenger 99 perimeter all that 97 perimeter all that stuff and jumping get a 78 because percent contest and then he's still hitting the shot bro it's like and then at the same time somebody's jumping at me and i'm hitting 38 48 58 bruce i, I shot a red with a red 60 something and couldn't even feel good about it because it's just i just shot the shot i ain't even i didn't even feel like i timed it right bruce even looked at it on the meter and it said it bounced back so it is what it is bro i don't feel like the game is that rewarding but that ain't what we had to talk about this is looking at me i'm looking i'm just shooting i'm, I'm hitting everything bro five percent hitting everything Anyway, hey, so bro, I'm not sausage fest. This is what he tweeted at down where he said, anytime that there's a patch that affects attributes slash gameplay, we should be allowed to respect <laughs> respect you dang right put some respect on it we should be allowed to respect our bills. The bi the bees bills cost 100 and the gameplay gets changed. There needs to be a respect feature in NBA 2K24. Even if not for free, let us pay a small amount of VC or have a respect reward or something like that. I think that would be dope right there, bro. Um, uh, they actually had promised that they were gonna do that and you could respect the bill. You could go back in there and, and respect, but it really just lets you build the same build over and it, it really just deleted it, it didn't work like they wanted it to man like we wanted it to like i asked for it to in 2k 18 slash 19 you know on my wish list and i actually put it out because we were playing that what, what was the game we were playing we were playing um a mass effect andromeda or something like that and it was actually a great game but when you got to the end of your bill if you were playing with different people you could respect your bill i would say that you gotta be you gotta pay to respect it because you don't want people just walking out there and and respecting bills you know over and over and over you there has to be some barrier to entry but uh you know i definitely agree with that you got to do that i don't know what down we're talking about right here bro i mean it just did what he said this actually is this actually is an insane take that uh that i'm tired of hearing to act as if yours or a build becomes useless because a few tweaks to gameplay is pure delusion if we make our bills to hoop instead of exploit we'll be fine when balance is adjusted i'm not gonna lie to you dime work oh my god i gotta give it to you, you still my guy everything's still cool you and me still good with this but i'm gonna tell you this shut the f up shut the f up bro are you serious bro if i come out like nobody's making if you make a if you make a bill and you're making it to exploit the game yes i'm completely with you on that but a lot of us make that first build and then we learn and understand the game. And then we make our second bill based on those thresholds. So if you then go and make a change and make changes to the thresholds and it changes the thresholds, it does in effect make my bill be kind of useless. You understand what I'm saying? So like let's say in, in the beginning, the threshold to dunk, uh, to dunk and finish on people was like 86. Now, if you got 80, I, I seen a dude with 99 yesterday. Dunkin running through that dunking the ball. His slasher is almost useless. You got 99 steel right now. You've invested all of those points into that. You're, you know, that part of the bill. So the build itself is not going to be useless. I don't think any build is ever going to be useless. But I do feel like at this point in time, I would like to go back and, and you know, change my points up just a little bit. I, I would take, I would go back and respect that bill and I would not put 99 steel on it uh, at this point in time. Or maybe I would put 99 steel on it. Or maybe I'll just go back down to 95 and say gold glove is enough. Or I'll go down to 85 and say silver glove is enough. And then I'll just raise my dunking up or something like that. But like I said, if I make, if I make a purchase Bait, and this one and that's what it is when you make a character you are making a purchase if i'm making a purchase based upon something that you told me or that i found to be true and then you actually make a change to make it no longer true i don't understand why 
you know you don't you, you know what i'm saying you don't make it right if i go in the store and pick up something and it says it's 5.99 on the sticker and then i get to the you know i get to the register and they're like nah this didn't ring up 10.99 they have to make the compensation if you make a break if you, you know some people just gonna take it I'm gonna tell you right now, my wife ain't taking that. If it, if it says $5.99 right there and it rang up $10.99, she gonna go back there and so, look, no, it says it right here on that. And this is that object. It ain't one of the, you know, some, some people some people try to come and you know, they, they, they really know they trying to get over. But no, this is the object. This is what it is. It is $5.99. I need to get it for that. But I, if I'm making my, I mean, that's just like going in a, like, I don't know, man. Like, like you go into the car, you got all terrain tires and then the next thing you know, you get them, and then those all-terrain tires ain't all-terrain tires no more. You go in the snow and have an accident. Like, bro, like, I know that's a very extreme case, but yeah, I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say, bro. I can't I can't get with that line of thinking right there. I understand what he's saying, that your build is not useless, and nobody's saying that it's useless. Well, I'm just saying that part of the build that I use, you know, if the information that I use to create something is no longer good, then... I probably need to change when, when my only frame of reference is playing the game and then you go change it. It's, it's that's a hard sell to tell me that well your build ain't you. I'm gonna keep playing the game or what have you, but that's a hard sell to tell me that the build ain't useless and I just gotta go. Cause the build is not useless, but that's not the argument. It's just that I don't wanna, I don't want nobody saying that the build is useless. The argument is I don't want to invest this amount of points in something that is no longer effective. That's all it is. If I, and I think he just probably just didn't understand what the dude was trying to say. But hey, we had some people saying the same thing, man. He said one day maybe these dudes will stop listening to the content, these content creators about how to make a bill. Yes, let's make a bill and spend money on it and that has zero defense and zero rebounding, but want the game to reward them. I don't think nobody's doing that, but at the same time, well, some people did do that. They did do that in 21 when they made bills with no strength in interior and we made bills with strength in interior and we were getting stops and they were crying about the same person that, you know, y'all was crying about, you can't get stops in the paint. So you understand what I'm saying? But we was like, yes, you can. And same people was crying about at the beginning of the year about, um, about, yo, I'm getting the ball plucked and they stealing the ball too much and they doing this and doing that. And then, then when they steal it, then you like, you putting out means about this, how people crying about because the still like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just like you want it both ways, man. I don't, I don't rock, I don't rock with that, man. Like, hey, you got to play it. You got to be straight down the middle with me. If you like this, this is how you want to do it. You got to do it. Like you a MIDI expert. What if they just made MIDI completely useless? And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, well, that ain't make MIDI's you like, it, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't rock with that line of thinking, but hey, it is what it is. Hey, up next, Bilbo Game says that, <laughs> that, that is a tr that is true and i completely agree that's being said that being said it's not that it's not the only reason a respect option would be great okay here we go we've all made bills and re and realized after getting in and after getting it to a 90 overall that is actually trash and built wrong so you remake it so you want to remake it right i've made seven or eight bills and i've and i have three left i use I, I got three left that I actually use. I guess that's what he's trying to say, bro. But yeah, he, that's, I, I see what he's trying to say. He's just saying that we've all made bills and then when you get it up there and you're like, dang, bro, and it's absolutely nothing that you get for. Also with the respect system, what if you make 10 bills like you make down work or 90 bills like Brood and Gambit make and then you just got to cut those bills and throw them away? We know that you on your no money spent kick, but not everybody's on that and you can't expect everybody to be on that. Just because you want to do that doesn't mean that that's what everybody should be doing. I might want to go out there and spend my money. So I don't want to spend my money on something that like, like the solution can't be, well, just do no money spent and then you won't work. But that's, that's tons of time. Everybody ain't got the amount of time that you got to work on these bills. They don't sit there and play the game all day. That just is what it is. I couldn't imagine that you could make that many no 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 money spent bills and and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like you got to be playing, you got to be playing this motherfucker. I mean, it is what it is. The average person and more, I'm talking about more than the average person saying that you got to be playing this joint more than two or three hours a day, just like I am. I can make, I made several no money spent bills. I'm on this joint five, six hours a day after I get off work. I play way too much. So we can't expect everybody to play this game way too much like we like we do and understand and know all the stuff in the game. Some guys need a reprieve. I don't think that they're I don't think that it's that they're making their bills based off exploits. I think that they just don't play the game enough and they just don't know what's going on 
and sometimes you need a reprieve. What if you didn't play the game that much? You don't think you would need a reprieve? So that's why I say what he said is pretty well said. It's not necessarily making a build based off of exploits, but I would certainly go back. Right now, I got a build with 99 steel. I would just scale back my steel and put, and I'd go back steel to gold glove, and I would go up to, uh, to 99, uh, uh, what, what, 99? I mean, not 99, Duncan, 86 Duncan or something like that. Just like I'm sure that a lot of people would go back and they would take down their, they would take down their uh, dribbling because you don't need unpluckable on Hall of Fame now. And then you'll make it. It's not that the build is useless. It's just that they may, they may make a change that makes it so, huh. Okay, well, I don't need this much dribbling anymore. I don't need Unpluckable on Hall of Fame anymore, so let me make a build that's got it on silver so I can just take it down on this build and move a couple of categories. I don't think it's, it has anything to do with exploits, and I think it's very narrow-minded to look at it that way. But that's what the 2K community always does. We just look at things from our perspective. We don't we don't really look at it from other people's perspective, man. It is what it is. It's all good, though. Like I said, everybody entitled to their opinion. I just think that that's just the bad like, I just don't think that I just think that's kind of narrow minded to say that that the only people the only reason people will want to make their build and respect their build is because of exploits but it is what it is I understand what you're saying hey we still good it's just you know it is what it is anyway last but not least we got my boy hey my boy he sent this out bro he's like he like look at this this fail right here I call this the gambit special because he going to the rim and he's just like bro get off me bro get off me hey he hit him with that <laughs> Shit out of here, nigga. Hey, that's what he hit it with just now, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we talk? Shit out of here, that's nigga. That's the Gambit special. Gambit been doing that before. It was cool, man, but you know it is what it is. Anyway, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, y'all let me know, am I wrong? I could be wrong. If I am, y'all let me know. But I don't think I am. I think that there are way more reasons to want to respect a bill not just you made a build that, that that was based around an exploit and i can't even see a build that anybody would have made around an exploit this year but hey i digress i only play the game way too much and uh it is what it is anyway let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i'm gonna y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk of the people's channel Gosh,